Welcome to Cunningham Piano. I'm Hugh Sung. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, what do the pedals on a piano do? Now, depending on the keyboard or piano that you have, you'll find anywhere from one to three pedals that you operate with your foot, and they all have different functions. So let's start off with the pedal that is most commonly used on acoustic pianos. It'll always be the pedal on the furthest right or on a digital keyboard, especially low-end keyboards, if you only have one pedal, it'll always be this pedal. It's called either a damper pedal or a sustain pedal. Basically, it does the same thing. And in fact, the names are synonymous with their function, okay? So let's take a look at the damper or sustain pedal. The damper pedal or the sustain pedal controls these pieces of wood with felt underneath resting on top of each string. Every key has a damper that's connected to it, all right? When I play a note on the piano, when I push down a key, that lifts up the corresponding damper. When I let go of this note with my finger, the damper comes back down and stops the sound. Every note will have its own damper to control when it sounds and when the sound is released. Now when I push the damper pedal down, notice all of the dampers come up all at once for every single string. When I play the keys and keep my foot on that damper pedal down, the keys will continue to ring until I let go of the pedal and the dampers come back down and the felt stops the strings from vibrating, okay? So this is a great way to keep, this is one of the most magical sounds that you can create on the, on the piano, pushing the damper pedal down and letting the sound ring and then lifting up your foot to stop the sound. That's what the damper or the sustain pedal does. It's one of the most essential functions in making music on the piano. Okay, so now let's say you have a piano or a keyboard with two pedals. What does that second pedal do? Well, the second pedal will always be to the furthest left, and that pedal is the soft pedal or an una corda. What is an una corda? Well, again, the name kind of is synonymous. The soft pedal makes the piano or keyboard sound softer. Let's take a look and see how this works. When I push down the soft pedal, or the una corda, look carefully, you may miss this. I'm gonna push the pedal down. Did you see that? Did you see the keys shifting slightly to the left? What this is doing is moving the action over, and if you'll notice, you have three strings for each key or each note. By moving the action over slightly, what that's doing is moving the hammers over so that instead of striking all three of these strings, you only strike one of the strings, hence the name una corda, or UC as an abbreviation. So here's the sound of the piano, played normally. Now I'm gonna push the una corda pedal down. Notice everything moves slightly to the right. Can you hear it's slightly softer now? That's what the left pedal, the far left pedal will do. It's our soft pedal, or the una corda. Now let's talk about the middle pedal. Now, this pedal's function will differ depending on whether you're on an upright piano or on a grand piano. And some uprights will mimic the grand piano's function. So let's talk first about what it does on a grand piano, okay? On a grand piano, the middle pedal is called the sostenuto pedal. And when you push this, it has a really cool function. Let's take a look at what this does. Some music calls for certain notes to be held and sustained while other notes stay disconnected or, say, or are stopped like you would normally, like you would with each individual note. To do that, we use what's called the sostenuto pedal, which is the pedal in the middle, as I mentioned. Okay, so how does this work? The way this works is you play the note first, you hold it with your fingers, then I push the sostenuto pedal Notice these three notes are still having their dampers held up, and that's being done with my sostenuto pedal in the middle. But all the rest of the notes, the dampers come right back down. It's only these notes that I've pre-held and locked 
with the soft sound of the pedal that are being sustained. So once again, I have to first play it with my fingers, hold the note while I'm holding those notes, then I push the soft sound of the pedal, and then those notes are held. Now, if I want to, I can still use the damper pedal at the same time with my soft sound of the pedal. So watch, I can do this, play these notes, catch it with the soft sound of the pedal, push the damper pedal down, and then control. Now, everything is ringing now, but when I lift the damper pedal, those other notes are stopped, and these notes are still sustaining. That's the soft tenuto pedal. Now, on an upright piano, that middle pedal is sometimes used as a practice pedal. And when you push this down, you'll have the option to sometimes lock it by pushing it also to the left. And what this will do is it'll, be, it'll bring a, another thicker piece of cloth between the hammers and the strings for a really muted sound designed really for practicing so that when you play, it's super soft and doesn't disturb your neighbors. Some higher end upright pianos will actually preserve the sostenuta function that you find in grand pianos like we just demonstrated. Anyway, that's a look at what the three pedals on pianos do. I hope you found this explanation helpful. If, I'd love to get your feedback and if you have other questions, we love answering them here in our video blog. Be sure to leave your questions, comments, and feedback in the comment section below. And as always, we have a weekly newsletter, so be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know whenever we have new videos and articles answering your questions. Once again, I'm Hugh Sung for Cunningham Piano. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.